The Screen Actors Guild American Federation of Television and Radio Artists, or SAG-AFTRA, is currently on strike alongside the Writers Guild of America for higher compensation, AI safeguards, and other issues. As a result, A-list celebrities have walked out of movie premieres in solidarity, as shown when the cast of Oppenheimer left the premiere ahead of the film's worldwide release this weekend. During the ongoing strike, Guild actors are asking one another not to cross the picket line, which has sparked quite a discussion on social media as influencers and people in relevant areas weigh in. One such influencer, Straw Hat Goofy, is under fire for his views on the strike. He is most known for his coverage of all things film-related. Readers may have seen him in movie previews at AMC theaters with Nuvi anchor Maria Menounos. Straw Hat Goofy created a comedy in a now-deleted TikTok video about how, as a non-union influencer, he wasn't involved in the strike, and that he will continue to accept contracts from major film companies to make content. Let's talk about Straw Hat Goofy and what happened with the strike situation. This is solely for educational purposes, no hate to anyone involved. I recommend watching all my strike videos and everything that's going on there, because this part, I'm only going to talk about what he did. So Straw Hat Goofy posted a skit video after the situation, where he was playing two people. One person was a person asking him questions about the strike, and the second was himself answering questions about the strike. He was asking himself if he would, if he would still be promoting stuff, and the video lacked a lot of context clues but basically said since he was not part of a union he is not considered to be scabbing or breaking the union lines to promote these movies and tv shows because that's what he was hired to do and he will take that promotion and do it forward now very much seemed with this video and with everyone's response that he wanted to cross the picket line to his advantage because he's not in a union and he will continue to promote these movies because he's paid to do these things and many people were very frustrated because companies know that if they don't have the actors to promote the movies they're going to have to turn to other venues and a lot of influencers and content creators don't know where they stand because stuff with unions like this has not happened during content creation existence go to the next part Many commenters were outraged, accusing him of not standing with actors in solidarity with the strike. Straw Hat Goofy eventually responded to the controversy with a video in which he apologized to SAG actors, but emphasized that he is under contract with specific studios and will continue to fulfill those agreements. Okay, so a lot of you guys have been stitching and commenting on my videos about what I said about the writer strike and how I was going to proceed as a content creator. I just got done hosting a live stream, listening to a lot of different people's perspective on it from both sides. I can openly admit that I was really tone deaf and wrong in how I went about doing that skit, especially since I failed to kind of really explain what I meant by doing more promotions. To the actors and writers who are currently on strike, I just want to say that I am sincerely, sincerely sorry for what I said in that video and how I wasn't clear with what I meant. So to be 100% clear, I said that I was going to keep doing movie promotions, but what I neglected to say was that I am under contract from the studios for the next couple months to do those movie promotions. Similar to the actors who were under contract to promote the movies before they eventually walked out, I myself is similarly under contracts. Not talking about new hires, not talking about the studios hiring me for jobs that the actors can't do. This was content that was filmed days, weeks, even months ago with actors that knew that they were going to go on strike. Not promotional content that I was hired to replace actors with, but as a separate entity to promote the film together. And I came across this content creator who actually got a response from SAG. I actually emailed them myself and still haven't gotten a response eight hours later. But she actually got a response from them and said that it is okay for me to do it if I'm under contract. Although I said I was going to pivot my content to focus on older movies versus the newer ones that are coming out. But I realized that it doesn't matter because I failed to provide that context in a skit that was very, very tone deaf. So once again, I just apologize in making it seem like I'm in support of the writers and actors while still trying to get mine monetarily. But I can definitely tell you as someone who just wants to talk about movies for a living, not be an actor, not even be a part of SAG, I'm in full support of the writers and actors who are fighting for the things that they deserve. In a video, actor, writer, and SAG member Charlie Capon criticizes Goofy's reasoning. Oh, buddy, you fundamentally misunderstand the point, Capon said. The whole point is to not honor the contracts that are given because you're trying to help support other people in their negotiating and bargaining. Okay, so a lot of you guys have been stitching and commenting on my videos about what I said about the right. Oh, buddy, you fundamentally misunderstand the point. I've been through two strikes now. I'm an actor, SAG, for 19 years. The whole point is to not honor the contracts that are given because you're trying to help support other people in their negotiating and bargaining. That's the whole point. And we've got actors who are not walking red carpets, people who are walking away from projects, projects on hold with huge budgets and to make money 
And these are wor- some of these are working actors. We have 160,000 people in the union. 90% of these people can't make enough wage to get benefits. And I've been one of those. I have friends that are series regulars, huge stars. They've been on Disney and Netflix. They couldn't afford to pay their rent, not mortgage, rent. So please listen. SAG-AFTRA's official strike guidelines specify that influencers may still pursue commercial work, including influencer-generated brand deals covered by the SAG-AFTRA influencer agreement and or influencer waiver. Influencers, on the other hand, should not accept any new work for promotion of struck companies or their content. But if an influencer is already under contract to promote struck work, then the influencer should fulfill their work obligation. It is crucial to clarify that SAG-AFTRA is not asking for a consumer strike, so moviegoers are free to attend Oppenheimer screenings. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.